today we're having intercessory prayer. Actually, you can uh, ask for prayer two ways. Today that there's a link there that you can call in and ask for prayer requests. And there also, you can put it in the comment section. Um, um, and so while the music is playing on this next song, we ask that you go before the Lord God and you pray to him first, and then we will come in and intercede with you. And welcome again to Minister Engagement. And we ask that you show you, oh hallelujah, God the glory.
thank you, Lord. Yeah. God, we thank you. We praise thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We thank you, God. We praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I was writing down some of the prayer requests that I see um, being wrote right now. Wait a moment um, until after we pray and then go forth on and write some because as it's going, I'm scrolling, I won't be able to go back and look at it. So after, um, I'll let you know and from this point when to go in and write some more, okay? And so uh, I want to make sure I get everybody's prayer. Um, to God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. Welcome everyone to ministerial engagement. I thank God who is the head of my life. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Yeah. To God be all the glory that leads and guides us in everything and in prayer. Today we're having intercessory prayer prayer and we need your prayers as we're going before the throne of grace keep us mm -hmm. lifted up keep us lifted in prayer as we are interceding for the word of god says where two or three are gathered together touching and agreeing that god mm -hmm. is in the midst he's already here he is already here mm -hmm. i thank god for my overseers i thank god for my shepherd uh, uh Thank God for you, uh, Apostle Davidson, for Amen. all of you. And Jesus, I thank God for you, the followers. But today, I want to get focused on the Lord God. And so we are worshiping him. We're, we've been praising him. And we've just been quiet and still. I thank God for all of you that took part of in the fast with us as we went before the Lord fasting that because the word of God tells us that some kind comes out only through fasting and prayer. There are different type of demons. There are different, just like God's got his army, Satan got his army. And we're, we are equipped and ready to come against and battle all of the, the spiritual wickedness in high and low places, every last one of them in the name of Jesus. I'm going to go into a quick prayer and then we're going to, I'm going to yield to Apostle Davidson at that time. Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, God, repenting for every sin that we have committed in deed, in thought, and in action, as well as all of those that are gonna be watching and will be watching God. We come before you, God, saying, it is me. We're not looking at anybody else. We're looking at ourselves, God. Lord, God, I wanna make sure our heart is right as we come before the throne, God. So Lord God, we pray, God, that all things that are within us that is not like you that you remove with in the name of jesus that we can be pure that we can be holy god as we come before the throne of grace god watch us with the blood of jesus god lord we also pray god that you cover us in the full armor of god as we come against spiritual wickedness in high and low places god in the name of jesus god Whip us and anoint us, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you stir up the anointing. That you stir up the prophetic and the apostolic anointing in the name of Jesus, God, as we come forth in your name. In prayer, God. Lord God, we pray, God, on that on today, God, not our will, Lord God, but thy will be done. In the name of Jesus, God, our mouths, God, our actions, God, everything that we do, God, that we will stay in your will, God. May your will be done in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God. At this time, I yield to you, Apostle Davidson. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. I have a couple of scriptures that I, I feel led to read. The first one is Isaiah 10, 27. 
and it reads, King James Version, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The next scripture is uh, taken from James, the fifth chapter, verses 13 through 16. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sin, that she shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. And Lord, I bless you the reading of his most holy word. Yes, ma'am. Yes, at this time, if you can put your prayer request down, I do see the one from um, Pebbles, and I've seen your comments. I've seen the comments made by um, uh, our, 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 the Mighty Woman of God, Laura, and Pebbles. I see the comments that Greg has made, and Tammy Holt. To God be the glory. Thank you all for joining us. So if you have any additional prayers that you can add them at this time, First, Apostle Davison will be praying, and then I will be praying also. And I'm going to read this scripture while y'all are writing any additional prayers. And I'm coming from um, Matthew, the sixth verse, because this is important, okay? It says, and when thou prayest, thou shall not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men verily i say unto you they have their reward but thou when thou prayest enter into thy closet and when thou prayest shut the door pray to god which is in secret and the father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly but when you pray use not vain repetitions as the heathen do for they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Therefore, like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you may be need of before ye ask. After this manner, therefore, pray. And this is a template of how to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is important Amen. because if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, forgive before we go into prayer the person or person. Now, verse 14. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, meaning their sins, their things that they've done wrong, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Mm -hmm. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of sad and countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they mm -hmm. may appear unto men to fast, to be seen, to be made looking like, oh, I'm holy, I'm fasting. We don't mm -hmm. want to do that. Mm -hmm. But when thou prayest, anoint thine head, head and wash thy face that they that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret, and thy mm -hmm. father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. And one of the things too, you don't want to come up here and ask for prayer first from us to intercede, and you have not went before the Lord God yourself. So ask God for prayer first. 
or if you've written it down already, go ahead on before the Lord and pray now before we go get started. Apostle um, Davison, is there anything you want to add to that before we get started in prayer today? I uh, just want to just uh, just go to God as Apostle Bonnie has already said, go to God first and then come in and write your, uh, your request down because and if we don't see it at this time, we, we will see it later and, and lift you up uh, then. Amen. Because we, 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 while we're in prayer, we have, sometimes we close our eyes, we can't be looking at our screens. So, but God knows your request. Yes. And sometimes God will lead us to, to, to pray the exact thing that you are requesting God for. So it works out anyway. Yes. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Father God, we come before you high this evening and afternoon, Lord God, just praising you, glorifying you at this time of intercessory prayer, Lord God. We actually forgive us for our sins, our thoughts, our deeds, our actions, our motives, our attitudes, Lord God, because we want to get a prayer suit to you today, not just for ourselves, our families and friends, Lord God. We want to come to you on behalf of those that we may have never met, never have seen, never have heard, Lord God, but you know their request. You know their prayer. You know the needs that they have even now, Lord God. You know the things, the struggle that they're going through, the jokes that they're carrying, the anger, the rage, the wrath, the discontent, Lord God. You know all about it. So we come lifting up the people before you even now, Lord. Come lifting them up before you, oh God. You forgive sin today. Forgive their sins. Forgive their transgressions, Lord God. Forgive their thoughts that may be contrary against your will and your way. Oh God, touch them as a variable. Touch them as a very point of their need. Lord God, you know we stand in need of before we even bring before you, Lord God. Mm. So we lift them up for even now, Lord God. I come lifting up Elon, Apostle Elona Stinson's daughter, her Amy, Lord God. Take Leechwa through, Lord God. She lost her Amy. They had a home going service before for her today, Lord God. I lift up before you. The Johnson family, they lost a loved one. The Galloway family, they come asking for healing. Mr. A, my brother's boss, who was in a car wreck, I come lifting him up before you even now, Lord God. And the ones who I don't even know about, Lord God, I come lifting them up even now, Lord God. Woo! Lord God, You said in your word, let our request be made known unto you even now, Lord God. We're making our petition, our request made known unto you, Lord God. Not seeking for any earthly thing, any, any tangible thing, but God, that's for healing and deliverance, salvation, peace of mind. Reclamation, restoration. God, snatch that daughter off the street corner, off the hands of Satan, even now, Lord God. Snatch that son off the same corner that's selling their bodies, Lord God. Oh, God, snatch that husband out the gambling shack, Lord God. Ah, Baba, gambling away the 
the more you get away, the closer the light feels. God, you see what's going on in that family, Lord God. Discord, dysfunction, Lord God. Smell of all my mind. Child abuse, trafficking, Lord God. Drug selling. Lord God. Oh, God. She not my mind. See. Heresy going, being taught. Necromancy, Oh, God. You see it all, Lord God. We lifted up before you even now, Lord God. Somebody's been attracted to the dark arts, the witchcraft. They being attracted to becoming a mason, attracted to fraternity and sorority, Lord God. But God, above all, stay their hand, above all, stop their footsteps, even now, above all, pull them back, pull them back because it's just that they go, Lord God. It's just death where they go, God. It's just where they go. But God, you said you came that I you might have life and that more abundantly, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, Speak life to them, oh God. Say their hand, oh God. Say their feet, oh God. Bring them back to the path of righteousness for your name's sake, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, help them, oh God. Stop the mouth of the witches, Lord God. Stop the mouth of the witchcraft, the witch says. Top of Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Mm. 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 Yeah. Put on every stronghold, every evil word, mm. that the devil is trying to put up in our communities, in our schools, in our homes, in our governments, Lord God. Ooh, pull it down, send your anointing that will destroy every yoke. Yes, God. Expose the hand of the enemy even now. You said in your work, what's done in the dark shall be brought yes, to the light. Expose the hand of the enemy even now, Lord God. He desires to want to be here. But God, shine your heavenly light upon the plots and the plans. To take away, take out the people because of greed, because of graft, because of covetousness. Oh God, oh God, have mercy on those who are speaking blasphemies against you. Against your servant, against your people, expose the witches that are trying to go into your house under cloak, trying to be hid, making them poison, trying to poison the saints, trying to spread the seed of discord among the saints, contaminating the pure in heart. Ooh, expose, uh, expose their hand even now, Lord God. Take the cloak of darkness off of them and give them a mind of what you say, deliver and say. Get in your word. You would that all men come unto repentance and that none perish, Lord God. Deal with the health care workers, oh God. Deal with the health care workers, oh God. Deal with the health care 
workers, oh God. Abokande Boboshi Banana Man Sialabosha. Your will be done in the healthcare arena. They're saying one thing but doing another, trying to hide their hand. Oh my God. Your will be done. Your will be done today, Lord God. Save, Lord God. Those that have a desire to be saved, but they don't know which way to go, but God. Let them hear your voice today, Lord God. Let them hear your voice. Let them hear your voice. Let them hear your voice calling unto them, saying, Come unto me, all ye that are burdened, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Some can't sleep at night. Some walk all night long. Some toss and turn because they're disturbed in their sleep. But God, give them peace in their spirit peace so they can operate rightly in you Lord God so they can hear your voice clearly calling unto them out of darkness back into your marvelous light oh God oh God that your will be done Your will, your will. Ah, la ba Jesus, Jesus. Oh, God. Jesus. Mm, somebody's struggling even now, Lord God. Somebody's struggling. La ba 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 the spirit of peace unto them but now Lord God the devil is whispering in one ear and you talking to them in another but God stop the mouth of the devil oh God Ooh, let them hear your voice today oh God the devil wants to destroy them even now Lord God you place a call upon their life a call a deep call upon them and the devil wants to take them out but God oh God Put your hand up on them even now, Lord God. You can do your will and your way. Oh, God. Set you back from the hand of the enemy even now.
you are our peace in the midst of a storm. Lord, you're gonna, uh, yeah, gonna do it. Oh, yes, I'm gonna see you are our healer. You are our doctor, God. You are our warrior, God. Oh, yeah, gonna see you are our peacemaker. You are the true vine, yeah, You are the door, oh, yeah, you are God, or you're gonna see the way, the truth, and the life, or you're gonna do. And we thank you, God. I thank you, God. Oh, God, as we come before you, God, you see our hearts, God. Yeah. God forgive me, forgive us, God, for everything that's been written in deep thought in my life. Forgive those thoughts, Lord God. Even one that may be thinking she's already prayed that, Lord, we can't pray enough. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God, we can't repent enough, God. We don't want to miss you, Lord God. Lord God, I pray that you will forgive, God. Even, Lord God, that backdoor sneaky attitude, God. Lord God, that you will forgive, God. Things that are put out that are not of you. Those yes. suggestive remarks, those suggestive things that people yes. say do, God. Trying yes. to kill others, trying to stir up things, God, that is within them, God, that yes. is not of you, God. Yes. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you curse at the root, God, and you work, yes. God. Every plot, every plan, God, to try to come against a child of God. Lord God, we come against a spirit of temptation in the name of Jesus, God, that try to tempt those, Lord God. God, we come before you, God, with our hands lifted up, God, asking you to search us, God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. God, there's so many different type of illnesses, God, mm, that you're going to see that they're in the world today, God. God, COVID, God, flesh-eating diseases, God, blisters, God, diseases of old, God, diseases of foreign, new diseases coming about and manifesting, God. And Lord God, as you told me to play this song, I will no longer be a slave to fear. God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus for every person that is suffering from some type of fear, some type of panic, some type of anxiety, God, that takes them away from making the right choices, God, that takes them away from making good decision-making, Lord God, alternatives and decisions, God. We pray, Lord God, that you bind up fear and anxiety, God, in every mental health illnesses, Lord God, schizophrenia, God, depression, oppression, God, in the name of Jesus, gender identity disorder, gender dysfunctional disorders, God, in the name of Jesus. Murchison syndrome, Murchison syndrome pro proxy, God. I go for me, Lord God, where people are so afraid they don't even want to come out the house, Lord God. Lord God, we come against, Lord God, that demon of filth, Lord God, a whoring God. We come against that hoarding spirit, God. That's the spirit of greed, God, where a person don't want to get rid of anything, God. They want to hold on to every single thing, God. So, Lord God, we come against the spirit of greed, and we ask that you just curse it at the root, God, that it will no longer be able to sprout out and sprout out, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And those that are hoarding, God, that they'll start detoxing, God, and take all of that thing. God, that they're bringing into their homes, God, that they will give it away, God, or either burn it or whatever you will have them to do. Yes. Because some of those things, God, got spirits attached to it. God, in the name of Jesus, 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 God
we come against night terror of God. Yes. We come against, Lord God, or the other thing, post-traumatic stress disorder. In the name of Jesus, God, bipolar disorder, God. Yes. Oh, God, we come against, Lord God, pride, envy, jealousy, wrath, Lord God. We come against, Lord God, that big demon, God, the demon of perversion, God. We come against pornography, God, with, Lord God, those that are watching pornography, allowing those demonic spirits to enter into them, God, and they can't get their healing. They can't get their deliverance because, Lord God, their eyes are sinning. Their eyes are constantly on people having sex where, Lord God, even in the word of God, it tells us not to look upon the nakedness, Lord God. You see, we see, Lord God, Noah's children even turn their head and walk backwards not to see their bodies, but yet, Lord God, we got people, God, that are on the internet, they're on the phone, God. They're even looking at it on their jobs, God. They are addicted, God, to pornography. People are not only addicted to pornography, God, but there are other addictions, God. There's substance abuse addiction. There's alcoholism addiction, God. There's sexual addiction, God. There is, Lord God, gambling addiction. God, we come against the spirit of addiction, God. Yeah. Oh, Lord God, oh, yeah, God, we come against it, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh, yeah, God, out of this thing. Spirit of perversion, loose, oh, yeah, God, out of this thing. Loose, oh, yeah, God, out of this thing. Oh, yeah, God, out of this thing. Ho, 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 oh, yeah, God, out of this thing. That peekaboo spirit, God. We come against that peekaboo spirit. People, people, other people, houses and homes, Lord God. Lord God, yeah, God, shall my God, out of this thing. We come against this spirit of nosiness, Lord God, of slander, Lord God, of, of the legalist, Lord God, those individuals of a holier-than-thou attitude, God, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, that you gotta see. I stand and declare and decree in the name of Jesus. I take that for all those that I have already identified and named out, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God, we command it and we command them, God, in the name of Jesus to come out. Come out in the name of Jesus, and we cast you out, oh yeah, God, and see, by the blood, by the blood of Jesus Christ, and God, send it, send them wherever you will have them to go, God. We pray, God, that you release the blood of Jesus, God, to wash and purge, oh yeah, God, and see, to wash, to purge, to cleanse, God, in the name of Jesus, that you release the anointing, God, oh yeah, God, and see, that will be Every yo God in the name of Jesus, or yeah, God of the sea. Every yo God in the name of Jesus, or yeah, God of the sea. Hey, 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 she got a song. You're showing me an individual, Lord God, that is down, bent down like he a frog, that like he. Toe, God, like bent down on its knees, God. You're showing me several people in this position, God, and they're around their cities, God. I see homeless people, God. I see homeless people. Oh, yeah, that's how my that's yeah, God, that's how, yeah. We come against that spirit of home uh, of homelessness, Lord God, and whatever spirit that is, God, that got yeah. them buckled down in that position like a frog, God. Jesus, Jesus, we come against that spirit of slug, a slug, a snail, God, every type of reptile, God, that snail is moving slow, we come against it of laziness and slow floor, God. And everywhere this snail is moving and slug, they're leaving a remnant. It's yeah. A remnant, Lord God. 
Mm, that's it, God. Lord God, that remnant looks silver and shiny, God. Yes. It's nasty. It's nasty, God. I got people thinking, well, maybe it's not so bad to do this. So I'll stay homeless. I'll stay out in the street. Or I'll keep being lazy. I'll keep doing these things. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. He just told me that 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 mentality, that slave type mentality of being on public assistance, that uh -huh. slave type mentality to where you don't want to work. And then, and oh, Jesus, thank you, God. Generational curses, God. Uh -huh. Lord, uh -huh. Lord, I come against that generational uh, uh, a curse, Lord God. Mm, that you got to see of laziness that slow floor, God, that leads that trail, God, to where it just don't stop with this generation, God, but there's a long, Lord God, of ascendance and descendants, God, with this lazy type of mentality, God. We come to you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, yeah, da 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 sa, yeah, da 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 si, she, yeah, da 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 sa, yeah. And Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, yeah, da 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 si. Lord God, I pray, God, that you even go back, God, to maybe even ancient days, God, where we started, God. Yeah. Lord God, that you break, God, that generational curse, Lord God, dating back to to ancient days, God, and deliver, yeah. God. Our children, our ancestors, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren for generations to come, Lord God, of that chain, God, that evil chain of trying to hold them down, God, to keep them bound in the name of Jesus. Of God by laziness, by sloth, Lord God, by grief, God, in the name of Jesus, God, to have that slave type mentality, God, that laziness, God, to where they just want to sit around the house and not do anything all day long. We curse it at the root in the name of Jesus Christ, God. We come against every yoke of pain, every yoke of hardship, every yoke of suffering, every yoke of even self-binding to where we bound ourselves and don't even realize that we're bounding ourselves by the things that we say, by the things that we do, God. We come against it, Lord God, and pray that you break every yoke. God, we pray that you break every yoke, God, that we have cursed ourselves, not even knowing yet, Lord God, by the things that have came up out of our mouth, God. Forgive us, Lord God. We pray, God, that you will create in us a clean heart and renew our minds and renew our right spirit in us, God, that we shall speak life and not death. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we come against death. We come against sickness. We come against diseases, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we come against every evil altar. Every evil table. Every evil gathering, God, that has been made to where declarations are being decreed. When death and illnesses is being spoken, oh when these witches and demons and, yes. and worshipers of evil yes. are gathering together and praying against it, we come against every yoke and every evil altar in the name of yes. Jesus. God, that you break it into pieces, that you set it on fire by the yes. Holy Ghost, God, the Holy Ghost fire, and you cast it, Lord God, to where you will have it to go. Break every chain, God. Break every yoke, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, yeah, God, in the sea. She me Ha, sha, ga, sa. Oh, ha, ha, sha, ga, da, 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 see. God, in the sea. And yes, Lord God, oh, yeah, God, in the sea. And not release, Lord God. Yeah. Order, God. Fresh water. Anointed water, God. 
to wash and purge, God. Yeah. The blood of Jesus and yeah. us up to wash and purge, God. Yeah. Each person, God, and each one of the individuals that we've prayed for. May there be such a release of the blood of Jesus and the anointing of God that is remnant, God. Jesus, Jesus, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cancel. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cancel every assignment of the enemy. We cancel every assignment. Oh, you got to see on our lives, on the lives of our loved ones, on the lives of our prayer warriors, on our prayer list. We cancel every evil assignment to yes. stop, to hinder, to block our destiny. In the name of Jesus, our destiny shall not be stopped. It shall not be blocked. In the name of Jesus, there is no power more mightier than the blood of Jesus. There is no power more mightier than God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. So we count for every evil assignment, every evil altar, every evil offering, those offerings that have been offered up in the name of Bezabob, in the name of Satan, in the name of these witches and warlocks and demons and, and soothsayers, we cancel it in the name of Jesus and we command in the name of Jesus to loose your hole. Lord, you're gonna decide, yeah. To loose your hole in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Head ye got a mana. I decree and declare that each person shall move into their destiny, that they shall move into their purpose. Head ye got a see. Lord, I was watching on the news today. Uh, Lord God, they are taking libraries out of Houston schools. My God, my yeah. God. Yeah. Lord God, I already saw on that Pride Month, they said that, that, that they were proud and next they're coming after the children. Yeah. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cancel every assignment to take out our children, yeah. to take out us out, God, through the educational system, through the health system, through the mental health, the substance abuse system, through the criminal justice system, God, from every system, Lord God, that exists, God, we cancel the assignment, God, to come and kill us, Lord God, through not uh, giving proper health care, Lord God. The Lord God setting people up in the criminal justice system, God, to where they become, Lord God, a repeat offender, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, I, I, I see, she, me, I gotta see. Placing them in a situation where they will get worse than better. Yeah. And the Department of Social Services system and the ecological system, God. Oh, God, I, 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 I see, she, I, I, I see. Lord God, we cancel and come against it, especially, Lord God, even more so in the educational system where the young minds are, God, in the name of Jesus, trying to stop the children from learning and receiving, not wanting them to learn about their history. And one of the things that, that I was taught in grad school clinical psychology, that for a person to walk in their purpose, they have to know their history. They have to know who they are. Yes. Lord God, when the children don't know who they are, they don't know what to do. They're searching for their identity, God. Yes. And so Lord God, we pray that every child, man and woman, yes senior citizen know who they are God in you God that they know their purpose God we pray that the children God that you bind up every evil altar every evil teacher every evil perpetrator God that they will 
not be able to operate to contaminate the mind God, in the name of Jesus God I pray for the parents the caregivers the grandparents whoever is overseeing these children God that they take an active role that they sit down and talk to the children and ask how their day was that they do those pop-in visits at the school see and hear themselves we come against the minds being poisoned the minds being contaminated god lord we pray that these parents god even though god they didn't change the textbooks to take out the history god even though now they're saying no library god my god that's just like the slave masters not letting the people read and they get killed for reading lord god i pray god for every individual god that is trying to stop or hinder a child from reading and learning lord god i give them to you god Yes, Lord. Your will, God, that your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I command that every evil God power that is following me, following us, following yes. our children, God, in the name yes. of Jesus, Lord, you got to see about evil monitoring spirits. Yes, Lord. You're gonna see it. The word of God tells us and teaches on God for everything that is following and monitoring, yes, trying to come against, trying to stop, trying to hinder, setting up yes. evil altars. And as yes. the word tells us, there were seven evil altars that were set up, God, yes. against the children of Israel. Lord God, every evil altar, no matter how many they are, God, that's been yes, set up God. against me been set up against us you have yeah. been set against those that we're interceding for god yeah. and for god that they be exposed god yeah. and in the name of jesus god that you bind them up and cast it or she got to see cast it and that it is unable god to operate god Lord, deliver us from every yeah. old captivity, God, yeah. that has a hold and bound upon us, God. That it has a hold and bound, God, on our children, our grandchildren, yeah. God. Lord, God, that their minds be be released from all evil yeah. that has been implanted and imparted into them, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Mm, da, 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 so, yeah. That their yeah. minds shall no longer be in captivity god their yeah. bodies shall no longer be in captivity god in the name of jesus our words shall never no, no longer be in captivity our body our movements the things that we do god from yeah. the crown of our head to the sole of our feet should not yeah. be in, in not captivity Lord, and lord god we surrender to you yeah. every evil person Every evil witch, demon, soothsayer, any person that has set up evil altars, that have congregated together with others to talk bad about other people, to cast them down, to try to stop or hinder. But those, Lord God, that are following, to try to hurt or hinder in any type of way, God, we surrender them unto you, God. That your will, Lord, you're gonna see. That your will, Lord, you're gonna see. Your will, Lord, you're gonna see be done in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, that you deliver us from inequity, God. Deliver us. From sin. Yeah. For us, God, in the name of Jesus, oh, for every hidden sin that is within us, God. Because, Lord God, even in the book of Psalms 51, God, David writes, Lord God, about those hidden things, God. It's in Job, God. So, Lord God, there are hidden things, God, that are within us. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every hidden sin, everything that's lurking in us is hid back beside behind something god that you reveal it to us individually lord god 
other people may see it, but we haven't seen it. Lord, we want deliverance. We want hindrance. Yes. I mean, we don't want any more hindrance, God. So, Lord, as my hands are lifted up, God, deliver me, deliver us from inequity, those hidden things that make it known to our conscious mind, God, that we shall, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, sin no more. Lord, yeah, God, I know second. And that we're able, God, to move into our destiny, God, into our purpose, God. Lord, God, you're showing me buildings. Mm, Jesus, my God. Lord, I pray for the buildings that you're showing me that are crashing and collapsing. I don't know if it's because of an earthquake, because of what's going on, the heat or the cold, extreme heat, maybe the harder, if not, but whatever reason, God. I pray, God, that people get out of these buildings, that be off of the bridges. I pray, God, for mercy and grace, God. Yeah, I gotta see. I hear God is telling me to tell you, Jesus. Hey, I gotta see to slow down, to slow down in your driving. There, I, I see like the streets going and leaving before my eyes. I don't know if it's a pothole, if the bridge or street is collapsing. I don't know if it's a sinkhole. Is the name. And then I still see boulders and mountain slides coming. And when we're driving so fast and not paying attention to what's around us, texting, looking down at the phone like this and trying to drive, God is saying it's not going to get it. It's not going to get it. Put that cell down. Oh, yeah, got to see when you're driving. He's trying to save lives. He's warning. Mm, I see floods. I see rivers of filth. Yes. I see a lot of water from like where the Great Lakes area is all the way down in the whole wide area. It's just, I see a lot of moisture. Just a lot of moisture and it's going all the way down to where the, the, the coastline of the Pacific is. Not the Pacific, that's not the Atlantic. I still see a lot of storms out there. Jesus. I see tornadoes coming up, woman of God, from the Gulf of Mexico to Texas and Louisiana. I even see some in Florida. I see some going out west. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I got to protect all from these um, tornadoes that you're showing me that are spawning, God, and going upward, God. Jesus, so many of them. Mm, Jesus, my God, help us, God, help us. I see that it was a pro the 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 um the dragon that God showed me. Now it's that large reptile, alligator, crocodile. It don't matter. It represents moisture, meaning all type of weather and conditions that come with wetness. I see the the gator opening up his mouth wide and it's opened up and it's had it like his head is like from the state before california and out into the pacific and it's just open and as it's open he looks this way he looks this way he's he moves his tail back and forth just like the dragon did it's moving his tail out in Din Din into the Atlantic Ocean. Jesus, my God. Before, I saw one white chair on top of the alligator. Now, I see a lot of white chairs. The white chairs mean silver rivalry regarding the races, regarding the cultures. Jesus, Jesus, 
I see one of the white chairs being knocked over on the alligator this way. It's like the chair is faced this way right here. And like, this is California. The chair is this way and it goes backwards. And the leg chair are headed towards California. California is going to be taking such a licking and beating. Um, I don't know when these things are going to happen, but I see California, like God, except for like up at the mountain line, mm -hmm. like the mountains. It's like a line, it's just like it's just gone. And it's another state I'm still seeing that it's like sinking away up into the Atlantic. So one is going into the Pacific, the other into the Atlantic. My God, I see the bottom part of Florida, like it's just like underwater. Low land, oh dear, I gotta see low land, oh dear, I gotta see low land, low land, oh dear, I gotta see beware, low lands, oh dear, I gotta see low lands everywhere, gosh, I gotta see low lands, oh dear, I gotta see, I gotta see territorial demons have been released, oh dear, I gotta see, I gotta see beware, hear this, hear this, oh dear, I gotta see, oh dear, I gotta see, God says, use your words, and He says, being quiet. And he's saying, do not come and using this as a weapon to hurt others. Mm -hmm. Because patience are gone, growing weak. People don't have patience for what they need to do. And so, death can happen. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. But I give you what God is saying. And so what you have to do, what we have to do is watch what we say. Oh, watch how we treat people. Jesus. I see people in suits. They got on suits, and you know what I see in their hand? I, they're like packing some type of machine that's on their shoulders to start fires. I see people hmm, somewhere. I don't know where they are. But they have this thing, and they're actually setting fire. He says, for the rich to survive. For the rich to survive. After Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving, holidays. I'm seeing March the 30th in this circle. And I'm hearing God is saying that there's going to be such a cry in all the land, in the world, that people are going to know that He is God. Each time, each time I hear this and I see that date, it happens. I'm not speaking it, I'm giving you what God is saying, and yes, I'm, I'm still praying, but as I pray, the prophetic anointing often comes, and so I'm still in prayer. Mm, da, 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 da. Mm, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Too many of you have walked away from God and are messing around with witchcraft. I see people that are dressed up like in church attire. And I see a church in the background. Do you know what I see? I see like a wooden table. And I see some women, which is bad. I see some women standing there. Oh, mm, Jesus. In this one, I see a man in the background. I see a man in the background. The man sees what's going on, but he's not doing it. Hear this, hear this, or do you gotta see leadership? Leadership, or do you gotta decide? The leadership, he's saying, sees it, but not doing anything about it. Knowing that evil altars are being done, knowing that evil is being done, but they sit silently and not say anything. God says, curse with a curse, or do you gotta see? 
for the thing, mm, Jesus, for the things that they're bringing upon the people, it's even going to boomerang back on them. Yeah. And it's a leadership position that's supposed to be stopping it and see it and know it, but not doing anything or putting mm. provisions or putting anything in place to stop it. God said, mm. God said it must end. Mm. I had a t uh, tooth removed. Jesus, Jesus, oh God. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to go forth on right, in the name of Jesus. Yes, I am. Jesus, Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch my mouth. I got to touch my mouth. I got to touch my mouth. I got to touch my mouth. Lord, forgive. Lord, I got to touch my mouth. I got to touch my mouth. Jesus, Jesus, touch my mouth. I see a volcano erupting. Mm. You didn't stop it. You didn't stop it. I see a volcano erupting. I see desert lands. It looks like, um, I don't know if it's India or it's one of those poor countries to where there's like the houses are like, you can tell that it's like a poor country. I don't know where it is. However, I see a lot of dead animals. The animals have gotten very skinny. They're skinny. I see dead animals laying around. I even see in the cities, my God, floods coming in from some type of storm that's hitting it. I see hail. The hail is huge. Some hail like this, some like this. Mm, the shaka, see God is saying that the storms are going to continue. He says, do not stand outside when you see it hailing. Because what I saw just then is somebody standing out there with their phone out and getting hit in the head with one of those big ice things. Take cover. Take cover. Yeah. His wisdom. His yeah, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for for all of those that are interceding for the names that I have seen, God. I saw Laura, I saw Pebbles, I saw Fred, I saw Tammy, I saw Apollos the Lightner, Lord God. I see um, Fran Crump, I see um, see Clarence, I see oh yeah, God, I got to see I got to see so many others, God, a Tom, a, a Thomas, God. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus for each person, God. Oh yeah, I got to see. Did you cover them with the blood of Jesus, God? From the crown of their head, God, to the sole of their feet, God. I touch and agree with every prayer request, God, that they have lifted up, that your will is done in the name of Jesus. I pray for our prophetess Pebbles that you deliver her grandchildren, Lord God, and that you heal the children. Hey, God, not my God. Woman of God, yeah. if your um, the grandson is dead right now, lay hands on him. I see something different that I haven't seen before. I don't know what it is. I know what it is. Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for a covering God or you gotta see and whoever that you gotta see gotta see has touched, prayed against or you gotta see a decree and declare in the name of Jesus that it shall not work. Or do you gotta see and it is broken? Or do you gotta see in the name of Jesus? Or do you gotta see? It is broken, oh dear God, I see. And what I see, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you bind it up. Mm, God, see. That you bind it up in the name of Jesus and you cast it out. Jesus, Jesus. Women of God, I've seen that face before. I've seen that face before. That face came 
I saw it on a person that was watching things with their eyes that they should not, such as adult type of inappropriate education, adult type of things. And they got like this dumb look, this dumb look, like just stuck. And I don't know if he's been having like stuck to where it was like, like they can't think or can't process, but that is the look that I'm seeing right now that that child has. And so Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, we come against and we cancel, God, the assignment that has been sent to this child, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord God, that Satan loose his hold. Lord, you gotta see they come against him and go attack God that is coming against him. And yes, I'm hearing in the spirit and anyone else's child mm, that you gotta see and grandchild or whoever that you're interceding and hearing this prayer for. We come against that attack on that person. Oh, you gotta see. God is so, she got to see, God is seeing, this is a, the situation with several marriages also, to where your husband, mm, that you got to see, and he says in some incidences, it's even a young woman that is into this. God is telling me to tell you that there are spirits that are attached to these individuals that are doing these pornography acts. And what happens is that these spirits enter into the person through, because their the eyes is a portal. Our eyes are a portal. Our ears are a portal. We have when well, we gotta close every portal. Put child locks on things, but we as adults we have to protect our those that are younger than us, grandparents. Don't, people, I hear so many times, oh, I'm not going to say nothing. Say something. God is going to hold you accountable because you saw you did nothing. You did nothing. You allowed these things to happen. That y'all got to see. God is saying this spirit has messed up so many marriages. And you wonder why your wife acts the way that she does or the husband acts the way that he does because you've invited other people into your sexual relationship and god is saying for you to close the door close the door you have invited satan into your marriage portals have been open and they need to be closed some have spirits on them within them if there's what and then some jesus god is showing me some people at work want and I think he gave that to me a while ago. I'm seeing it again. Sitting in the car on your cell phone watching pornography. You know that's not normal. That's not normal. That's not normal. That's not normal. Jesus, it's not normal. Close the door. Close these portals that are being opened and that you've opened. Mm, that's y'all gotta see. Yeah, gotta see. Some of you are calling the psychic network. You open up portals there. That's a portal. These are witches. These are demons. Jesus, Jesus, close these doors. If you have tattoos on you and, and that they're designs that you've never seen before, there could be markings. They can use ink, witches and stuff. They put even blood up in these things. They can over it. Halloween is getting ready to come up. Halloween is mine to say Satan's holiday. Mm -hmm. The witches pray over the candy and yes, all these things. And then you wonder why your child is acting like boo boo. Because this is when the witches are going mm -hmm. out to go and try to contaminate every single person that they can to bring them onto the side of Satan. We have to be wise. We have to be vigilant. When we fill our ears with particular music that is not of God, when we're looking at things that we shouldn't, we open up portals. Yeah. Yeah. This is the word of God. We have to watch what we see. We have to close these portals. We don't supposed to be looking at naked people. Then we're supposed to be covering. It's even, I know mean, I went on about 20 years ago. I went, 25 years ago, I went with the church somewhere. 
and that the woman just started undressing herself, butt ball neck, I came out the bathroom, her daughter in the room, I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Your daughter's right in here, I'm in here. And I ended up showing her in the Bible. Read the word of God, read it. If you have issues in reading or getting it all, then play it and maybe look at the words and hear it and see it at the same time that you can get it in you. When you are saved, you do not have sex. God will say, don't do it. You are to save yourself from marriage. He will help you get through it. That's why you want the Holy Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit as evidence in speaking in tongues. So if you aren't speaking in tongues yet, then you go. Have to ask your church if y'all not having chariot services where you can get filled with the Holy Spirit. Ask your pastor, hey pastor, can we have a chariot service? Can we have a service where people don't leave? We just shut in. We shut in until everybody get filled with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we gotta go back to, to some of the old ways to where we're able to, to receive God the way that we need to within us. I see this flesh eating disease. I see a disease where there's boils. Even I'm seeing somebody who's palming their hand. God is showing me. And when I say I see, no, I'm not no see. I'm not no psychic. I am an apostle of God. And an apostle of God operates as a, an apostle, as a prophet, as an evangelist, as a pastor, as a teacher. Who do you got to see? And so God is showing me someone's hand. And it's like, Mm, Jesus, now I see a many. He says, soon, soon, soon it's going to be here. The hospitals are already filling up. Floors are filling up. But yet the prideful are walking around thinking that what man gave them will help. God says, He is your help. He is your help. Yes, he is. And that when you accept Him, He's going to tell you and guide you on what to do and what not to do. You are to trust in the Lord God and lean not into your own understanding. Y'all think that you have seen cold weather before. You have not seen anything. Just as God had us up here, right, Apostle Davidson, uh, up here warning about the extreme heat, even going up uh, in some places. I don't know when it's going to be uh, over 150 degrees. I, we already had the picture of it. Uh, I took a picture of it uh, at 143 the streets. He's saying, just as those came into fruition, into fruitation, into manifestation, the cold is. Ooh, yes. There is no electricity. Say an ice storm comes, or a storm comes, knock out all of your electricity. Do you have enough to keep you warm for at least a month or two months? Do you have solar lights? Do you have batteries? Do you have what you're going to be needing? Do you have at least enough water for everybody in your house to get through a month? What about food? What about toiletries? Some people didn't learn after COVID. They didn't learn. They didn't know and learn to stay stocked up on toilet paper, stay stocked up on these things. October the 30th, I'm see, seeing it. Circles. October the 30th, 31st. 30th got a darker circle. It's a red circle around it. Big red circle. Somebody's going to be acting like boo boo on Valentine's Day. So um, be watchful. There's going to be things that's going to be released in the air. For those of you that haven't gotten your biscreen or plastic and tape to go around your windows for when that time comes, get it. 
just like the people, if you're in the United States citizen, hear this, you need to have your flags because a point in time is going to come. I don't know where or when any of this is going to happen, but we're going to have to be hanging our American flag outside the window and the door that the people will know that we are United States citizens. So hear this and start preparing. Washington State. It's a state right here and a state right in, in that area. It's like a circle right here and those states there. And those states I see like big barns. Barns where people are gathering in barn areas. And in these areas they got on the red cap. Hear this, hear this, oh dear God, I see, hear this, oh dear God, I see, and know what it means. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is saying for me to tell you again, many have been conditioned and preconditioned to receive the sign of the beast by using fear to take the shot. And even though you knew that they said originally that it would be a year and a half, because it takes that long to do the experiment the proper way. Because they need an experimental group to be able to run it twice. There's a type two type re uh, type two research drug. You want people don't want to use a type two research drug because it hasn't been through all of the protocol. My background is clinical psychology, and I said before I did research. Um, and I was the, at North Carolina Central University, I was the research grad student. And so I did research products with several of uh, the, the top of the, pro, the professors, the lead, and even with a Durham's uh, Duke psychologist taught under him. Many signed up as the experimental group and the placebo group when you took it because the outcome data and statistical data and that the uh, uh before giving it to us the lab rats died and so the other day go back and watch it you see the two people have with question marks on it it's a deliverance service there to where god led me in prayer for those that took it to remove all toxins from your body and that for you to go before the lord and ask for forgiveness but Go and watch it and receive what God has so that way you can be detoxed. Do not get the hand chip. Do not get it in your right hand. That's in Revelations 13, 16 through 17. Um, it talks about the only way you're going to be able to buy and sell. And we had that in the background showing that Amazon wouldn't let people in the store to pay with cash, uh, with their credit card. The only way you can get into the store was with the hand scan is in 200 stores. And they said that by the end of the year, it's going to be an all store. So if you don't have it in your hand, you can't go in the Amazon store and buy it. Okay, people say Amazon store, Whole Foods. Whole Foods are now owned by Amazon. Amazon wanted control over my emails that I could not do anything on my Google account because they said they wanted access to be able to email, send, delete, change, modify my emails, my photos, my contacts. They wanted access to that. We've allowed them into our homes. 
spiritual wickedness in high places. Wake up. Wake up. Mm, do not get it. And God just told me to remind the people. Go back if you haven't had an opportunity and watch it all. And yes, we are still in prayer for those that are saying, I thought you were in prayer. I'm still in prayer. When I start praying that and that when the anointed people are around and praying, the Holy Spirit comes in and it starts to operate. And so I thank God for the Holy Spirit and the way that he's coming in and operating right now because we need that's how much God loves us. Amen. So, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I saw a, 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 a comment earlier before I went into prayer regarding um, people telling the truth. And yeah. Lord God, and that was from Craig out in Hawaii. Lord God, we come lifting up Craig, God. Yeah. And all of his Hawaiian friends and, and neighbors and stuff, Lord God that are not just on one island, but on, um, on both islands, God. Lord God, you see and you know what's going on there. You see and you know, God, about the land, about the cult, about what is going on, God. And so we lift up Hawaii and all the fires, God. And we pray, God, that the truth regarding everything comes out, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord God, I didn't see all, all the other prayer requests, God, but that was the two that I saw. And so, Lord God, all others that have prayer requests that are lifted up, God, you see their needs, God. You see the sufferings, God, the people are suffering, God. Lord God, I also pray, God, for the healthcare system again, God. You told us to get healthy, God. So, Lord, as we hold up our hands to you, God, see our bodies, God. Help us to get healthy, God. Lord, create in us a clean heart and renew our minds, God, that we stay steadfast, God, and diligent, God, in trying to get healthy and preparing for these things that you are warning about us about, God. I looked up everyone's family, God, and their friends, everyone that is on their prayer list, God, that your will, Lord, you're going to see that not our will, God, but your will be done, God. I pray, Lord God, that you start touching the hearts of those that heard also the prophetic warnings and the prayers that are going, that have went forth, God, from Apostle Davidson and myself, God, and that you start conditioning their heart, God, as she does the altar call, Lord God, to bring another altar call, God, to bring them to you, God. I pray, God, that as she does it, God, that I'm going to be interceding, that people be filled with the Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah, God, 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 God. That people be delivered, God. Oh, yeah, God, 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 for every attack, God, that we have covered in the name of Jesus, God, for everything that has been bound, God, God, for everything that has been cast out, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, I pray, Lord God, that you will cast it, God, where you will have it to go. Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you release such an anointing, God, that it will destroy all yokes, God. That you release the blood of Jesus to wash and purge, God. Yes. Wash and purge. Oh, yeah, God, yes. Wash and purge, God. Wash and purge. Oh, yeah, God, I did it. Release your blood, or you got to and know it afresh, Lord God, what you're going to see. And the name of the Lord, you're going to see the Father, 
of the Holy Spirit, oh dear. Yes, oh dear. Yes. Yes. Woman of God, Apostle Davidson, join with me, oh dear, I gotta see. And yes. oh dear, I gotta see. Yes. Oh yes. oh yes. oh In the name of Jesus, oh dear, I gotta yes. see. Yes. Yes. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. Ah. In the name of the Holy yes. Spirit. I hear God saying, Oh, you gotta see his will, his will, oh, yeah. you his will, oh, you gotta see his will, oh, you gotta see name what you gotta see god is saying right now that you gotta see that for you to start walking in his will what you gotta see not you gotta see far too many have been praying your will and not the will of the father that you gotta see see. and you wonder why things are not happening or you gotta see because you're gonna see god has already got you i gotta see put things in motion but what you're trying to do is fight against what god is saying and yeah. sometimes you curse yourself mm. by what you're saying out your mouth and he wants you to slow down yeah. and think about what it is that you're saying to yeah. think about what it is that you're praying to think about these things in the name of jesus to slow down stop and think and yeah. do the will of the father and yeah. not your will and don't be praying what you want or you think that a person should have you if you don't know you don't know what that person is standing in need of you don't know everything that that person stop thinking that person is telling you absolutely everything because they don't they don't yeah. some things there are people that got pet peeves secret closets there's some people under the sheets in the sheets everywhere yeah. there are people Mm, that you gotta see that you may think that you know, but you don't. And even God has worked on this. He says the people that we know, some of them are gonna be like completely strangers. So we have to be grounded in the Lord God. We have to be grounded and rooted in God. Yeah, yeah, God, God, I see. Do you understand? Do you understand? You have to be grounded in God. Yeah, yeah, God, I see. You have to put God first in any and everything you do. You have to pray, God, what will you have me to do? What will you have me to say? And you walk in the way of the Lord God. You do what God says, oh dear God, I see, and you be obedient. The word of God says that obedience is better than sacrifice. God loves us so much, so much, that he's been warning and warning. So receive from God. And, 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 and let God's will be done in your life. Oh, hallelujah. So, Lord God, I pray these things, God. And, Lord God, you see each one of us, God. Replace all virtue, God, that have been expelled from all intercessors, God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you will bless each one afresh, God. And renew us, God. Renew and refresh, God. And that you refresh all virtue that have been expelled during this time period. And Lord, it's a woman of God that as she does the altar call, that people will say yes to you, God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Oh yeah, God, I say, yeah, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Woman of God, I'm gonna put the screen on you because I know y'all done heard the phone ring and everything. So this is on you. But go forth on and do the altar call at this time. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Now is the time for the altar call. Amen. Amen. 
God wants you to come to him. You heard the warning, you heard the promises. God is not telling you to be afraid, to be terrified, but he wants you to come to him out of respect. He wants you to come to him because he loved you. Not because he wants to beat you over the head, make you come to him. He wants, he wants you to come. He's inviting you to come to him. To come to Jesus today. Over in Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 9 through 10, it says, That thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So right now is your our grand opportunity to become a child of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Right now is your grand opportunity to have your name signed in the Lamb's Book of Life. I ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins, to ask him to wash you, cleanse you, purge you from every evil way, and, and acknowledge him as your Lord and your Savior. I ask him to forgive you of your sins, I ask him to wash you, and you acknowledge him as your Lord and Savior, and you shall be a child of God. If you don't know how to pray, I'd be more than happy to lead you in a prayer of salvation. A prayer of prayer of repentance. I am going to say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I've been walking my way, contrary to your will and your way. And ask you to forgive me. Cleanse my heart, cleanse my mind, cleanse my spirit. Forgive me for not doing it your way, Lord Jesus. And I come to ask you to watch me, cleanse my heart, cleanse my mind. Receive me as your own. I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord Jesus and God, and that God raised you from the dead. And you said, if I do this, I shall be saved. And I, I've done it, and I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I ask you to sign my name in the man's book of life and fill with the precious gifts of the Holy Ghost. And I can be one of your own. And I'm a God, Jesus, I'm a backslider. I walked away from you. I wanted to do things my own way again, but I found that I couldn't do it my way. So here I am again. I choose to forgive me. I'm turning my back on you. I you forgive me, wash me, cleanse me, purify me all over again. I renounce all of Satan, all his plots, and all his plans out of my life. My Lord and my Savior, and actually resign my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. I confess this with my mouth, and I believe it in my heart that you are Lord and you are King. You are my Savior, and I thank you in Jesus' blessed and mighty name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 To God be all the glory. Welcome, my sisters and brothers. Oh, hallelujah. We thank God. He is an awesome God. He is an awesome God. We give him all the honor and the glory and the praise. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My apologies. I the delivery was really early. He <laughs> is an and everything was. But I just thank God. He is so awesome. Um, Apostle um, Davidson, can you tell them about the church, finding a church home and the importance of it? Oh, yes. Yes. Find, ask God to help you find a church home, a, a, a church that teaches out of this. Not out of what man has come, come up with, but out of this, this is the Holy Bible. Ask God to see you to a Bible believing, Bible teaching, Bible walking church that operates under the anointing power of the Holy Ghost. They don't they go don't go by man's doctrine, man's will and way. They go by what the thus says the Lord, how the Holy Ghost leads, that's how they go. Ask God to see you to that church where he would have you to go. The some church said that say they believe the Bible, they say they hold the Ghost field, they have a different agenda. So you ask God, you, you you go to God first. I went to God. When God sent me to the very place I needed, I survived did the same thing. God will lead you and guide you the way he wants you to go. 
and stay there until God says otherwise, until God says time to go. Sometimes you can stay in the church and you get all you can and he'll send you to another another body of believers and you get more out of that place. But you gotta you gotta get there first. You can't you can't pass yourself, you can't feed yourself. Ask God where you should go so you can be fed the word of God and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yesterday I got blocked on both accounts. So share the, the teachings, the prophetic warnings with others. If you don't want to post it on your page, just share it in Messenger. And so that way the people can see it. And for those of y'all that may think we don't get paid for anything. We get sign up to go on um, Facebook and YouTube and all of that said that we'll pay you for all of the no, mm -mm, we don't get a penny. Nobody, none of Team Jesus members, we don't get paid for doing what we're doing. We don't, because God said, He said He's looking for a person to put in place for that that will be bold enough to say exactly what He's saying. And there's so many different false teachers, prophets, and teachers out here that He wanted somebody to come forth that was real that's not about the money i have seen it come i um, put a thousand dollars in my hand and i'll tell you what the lord god says a witch a witch i tell you what one time i um somebody, I, 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 I went to go and hear the word and i had the money in my hand and stuff and it was ugly it was ugly it was more about the money and then i have seen seen people give these people false prophets and teachers they won't give their shepherd a thousand dollars but they will up in that thousand two thousand five thousand dollar line to go and give a word and you know what i was like that don't make sense y'all mean mm. what's the man or the woman of god that's your teacher or your preacher and everything but you're gonna go and give it to a false teacher a false prophet right. We got to get our, our our priorities right. And yeah. and yesterday, right, woman of God, yesterday, even God had us in fear and tithing. He just be having us everywhere yeah. where the people can get it. Things have changed. There's been a shift, woman of God. There's been a spiritual shift, a mighty spiritual shift. Yeah. Yeah. Woman of God. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, my God, you didn't think things could shift even more, but God, I mean, He's yeah. amazing of the things that He is doing and allowing. And as we are growing in God, every person that is watching, you can't stay the same as you were. You can grow too. You can grow too to God in all the glory. And so we already then came against people and things coming against your purpose and your destiny. Thank you, God. Um, Elder Janetta Little, we were hoping she was going to be up here, but she had some family um, things that's coming up, celebration, marriages, and all of that. And so she's not going to be able to be here, but she's going to. I'm not going to say the exact date because some people will be like, no, yeah. So just join us each day. Just join mm -hmm. us because we don't even know what, what direction God will have because we'll be mm -hmm. going one way and he'll shift us in another way. Just like we were just going to be praying today and that's it, right? Yeah. And next year, you know, he got us right here yeah. giving more prophetic warnings. That's how much he loves us. And so I yield to you, woman of God, for last words. <laughs> And uh, we love you. you. Y'all come back. Y'all come back and go back and watch it all. Go, I mean, Amen. all, all of them. Yes. <laughs> okay. Amen. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, and to present us falling for the coming of his glory with exceeding joy, be dominion, high, and power, and majesty, both now and forever. In Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. 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 We love you all. We will see you tomorrow. Be blessed, Lord.